my friends, we are gathered here today to say goodbye to our old friend as we once knew him. Tachanka is dead. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shock with DG. So in today's video, I'm actually doing a double upload. So the new Tachanka rework was just announced, so I thought I'd make a video on it really quickly, showing the gameplay and then also giving my thoughts on it. So if you guys didn't know, he was reworked today. This has been announced for a while now, but it's finally coming out as of tomorrow. It just got announced earlier, like about an hour or two ago. So I'll go ahead and show the clips of the gameplay, and then we'll go ahead and talk about the stats for his weapons and also my thoughts on the operator overall. So I'll show the content now. Long live to Chanka. Everyone's favorite siege meme lord is getting a much needed competitive rework. Now, when you're playing Tachanka, you won't hear this anymore. LMG! Mounted and loaded! And you definitely won't be locked down to a single location. Tachanka now carries his LMG as his primary weapon and packs a new gadget, the Shumika Launcher, which fires incendiary grenades that excel at denying entry and roasting operators. Thanks to its five-round magazine and high rate of fire, the Shumika launcher can be used to block off multiple entry points quickly. One round will shut down a single door or window, and you can quickly fire off more as needed to spread the love around. You don't even need line of sight to the area you want to cover because these bad boys bounce. As a low-speed, high-armor operator, Tachanka is still very much a backline anchor, but he has a bigger sphere of influence as he can now rain down literal fire from long range. He's a good alternative to area denial operators like Smoke, and he can cover a greater number of small areas more quickly. And if you happen to get caught up in an alarming blaze of your own creation, don't worry. Tachanka, like Zofia before him, can use the withstand ability to get up on his own when down. Now, Tachanka may still be Russian, but these days he's serving up Swiss cheese thanks to his DP-27 LMG. It's the same gun that was available on his turret, but it now comes in a handy on-the-go version. Featuring a custom vintage sight, this massive gun has special destruction capabilities that allow Tachanka to absolutely shred soft walls, eat up hatches, and create lots of openings for Shumika grenades. He may not be the fastest operator, but his newfound mobility and the destructive power of the DP-27 to open up rotation points in a matter of seconds, even from long range, make him a friend to roamers everywhere. He also pairs well with intel gathering operators like Valkyrie and Echo. With operators now able to ping locations from cameras, Tachanka can be even more effective with his versatile Shumika grenades. Rounding out his loadout is the option to take the 9x19 VSN submachine gun, as well as a choice between the PMM and GSH-18 sidearms. He can further slow down attacking operators by bringing along barbed wire, or he can pair proximity alarms with his Shumika launcher for a spicy attacker flambe. Tachanka is arriving on the PC test server tomorrow for a testing phase before his official debut on all platforms during Operation Shadow Legacy. So get ready to hop on the TS, take the shiny new Tachanka for a spin, and send the dev team your sweet, sweet feedback. And to keep up with the latest in Siege, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com. Oh, good job. Alright guys, so that was the Tachanka rework. Uh, honestly, I think it's going to be crazy, crazy overpowered. I mean, as you saw, he has the choice of his normal SMG or the turret that he used to have, but now it's like the mobile version of it. And I think it three shots pretty much anyone. I think it does 48 damage per shot. So you could end up three shotting practically anyone. Uh, that alone is just ridiculously overpowered to me. And the fact that he has so much ammo in it and can make rotates. I mean, as they showed, you can make rotates from pretty much any range in seconds, I think. 
I think that's crazy, crazy overpowered. Not to mention his gadget. He has 10 of these bouncy fireball grenade things. And if you think about smoke, smoke only has three. His canisters last a bit longer, but each of Tashanka's fireball grenades last five seconds. So if you have 10 of them, I mean, that's that's crazy, you know? So you're going to be, be able to really compete with smoke as like a denial operator, a plant denial operator. So it's going to be very interesting to see whether smoke or Tachanka is actually going to be picked more or if Tachanka is just going to be banned. So you guys have to let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. If Tachanka is just going to end up being banned every pro league game or if he's just going to completely replace smoke and he's going to be played every game. I'm excited to see what you guys think about that. But... I think he's going to be really, really overpowered, and I wouldn't be surprised if we see him banned pretty much every game. For his uh, uh, secondary gadget, though, he has the proximity alarm and barbed wire. At least he doesn't have a shield. I think that's really good that he doesn't have a shield or a C4 or anything, but uh, the proximity alarm, I mean, that is, that's a really good gadget. The barbed wire, of course, is good. It will pair well with his, uh, his explosion gadget. I think... Tachanka is going to be really, really powerful with operators like Malusi, Goyo, Clash, operators that kind of slow people down. So especially like if you've got a Malusi and someone gets stuck in the middle of that Malusi trap and you throw your Tachanka gadget in the middle of that, I mean, that's almost a guaranteed kill. That guy can't move very fast. And then you're also throwing all of these like Molotov cocktails basically on top of him. So it's going to be crazy. I mean, I think the meta is definitely going to change up a lot. Also, something to note with this is that Tachanka will most likely not be in a competitive quarantine. Now, what that means is usually when we have a new operator come to siege, the operator is put in something called a competitive quarantine, which means he's not, the new operator is not allowed to be played in Pro League for, I think it's like six months or something, so that we can get data on the operator and determine if it needs to be nerfed significantly before it's going into Pro League. That way, the Pro League is as balanced as possible. But Tachanka isn't a new operator. He's been in the game since the game came out. He is one of the you know original operators. So he's going to be able to go straight into Pro League. This is not a new operator. It's just a rework. So it's going to be really interesting to see how that happens in Pro League. I, I cannot wait to see next week's games and, and kind of how Tachanka is being played and all that. Um, it's going to be crazy, or maybe two weeks, whenever the test server is over. It's, it's going to be really interesting to see Tachanka in Pro League. Uh, I really want to see if he's going to be banned every game. I have a feeling he's going to be banned quite often, but the strats the Pro League players are going to have with this, I mean, I can't even imagine the, like, just the things you can do with this gadget you're going to be able all these pros are going to find these these angles where you shoot it at a wall and it bounces off that wall off another wall and then lands in a certain spot and blows up it's going to be really crazy so i'm really excited to see all of that happen but let me know you guys' thoughts in the comments and as always thanks for watching